Hello guys, welcome to WindowsSiteExperts.com channel. This video is all about how to set up dual monitors Windows 10. For more related videos, please subscribe, like and share to this channel. Setting up dual monitors is a common thing these days. Whether you want to increase your working screen area or just want to mirror something to another monitor, Windows has got it all. With improved functionality in Windows 10, now you can set up dual monitors easily and with some familiar commands. Now let's check out how to set up the dual monitors on Windows 10, we will also discuss what you can do if your Windows 10 cannot detect the second monitor. Hardware requirements for dual monitor setup Obviously, you'll need an extra monitor and along with that, you may require some wires and connectors. The first and foremost step is checking the ports on your computer. If you are using a laptop, you might have only one HDMI port or rarely a VGA port along with it. If you are on a computer and one monitor is already connected, look for another similar port. Make sure your computer or the graphics card support multiple monitors before buying any equipment. Typically, a VGA port has several small holes in three lines. Now it is time to get a suitable wire. If both the devices, monitor and the PC, are compatible with HDMI, you can get an HDMI wire. Usually, the old monitors are compatible only with VGA, so you'll need a VGA wire and an HDMI to VGA converter. Connect the monitor and power it on. Setting up the second monitor well, there are four projection modes available in Windows. You can open up the projection menu by simply pressing Win plus P from the keyboard. The first mode is PC screen only, and in this mode, the secondary monitor will not display anything. There is also a mode that can turn on the secondary screen only and turn off the primary screen. Next, comes the two mostly used projection modes. The duplicate mode lets you project the screen as it is on the second monitor. The last and the most important mode, extend, lets you extend your actual working area to the second monitor. The dual monitor setup is essentially about working in this mode on your computer. You might have seen someone who has collaborated a few monitors to make a larger screen. That setup is nothing but working in this extend mode. Configuring the second monitor while the duplicate mode does not require any configuration as such. But we need to configure the monitor connected in extend mode to get the best out of it. On your primary monitor, right click on the desktop and select display settings. The majority of settings can be configured on this page. First of all, you need to define the position of the second monitor with respect to the first monitor. For an example, I've placed the monitor to the left of my laptop so I will drag the second box to the left of the first one. Also, you can make some height adjustments if both the monitors are not on the same level. The settings for both the monitors can configure separately. You can change monitor resolutions, scale layout and much more. Also, you can change the primary monitor. To change the primary monitor, select the number corresponding to that monitor, scroll down and select, make this my main display. The primary monitor is generally the one that displays the majority of details and hosts the primary desktop. Although the taskbar is available on both the monitors but the primary one is more functional and accessible. You can change a few taskbar related settings. Right click the taskbar and select taskbar settings. Scroll down to find multiple displays. Here you can change a few taskbar related settings like whether to show taskbar on a secondary display or where to show taskbar buttons and when to combine buttons and labels. Wallpaper related settings can also be customized. You can stretch a wallpaper to fit both the displays. Or you can have the same wallpaper mirrored to both screens. Even further you can have entirely different wallpapers on both the screens. Right-click the desktop and select Personalize. Browse for a wallpaper that you want to apply. Right-click its thumbnail to select the monitor you want to apply this wallpaper on. If you want a single wallpaper on both the monitors, make sure you have a high-quality wide wallpaper in hand. Wide wallpapers are specially designed for multiple displays and they can be applied without any unusual stretching and quality distortion. Also, they look quite beautiful. Note, when you connect multiple monitors, a new option is offered in Taskbar Properties. To configure this option, right-click on the taskbar and select Properties. 
Towards the bottom, under multiple displays, you can opt to show the taskbar on your primary monitor or all the monitors. You can also configure where to show the taskbar buttons from the drop-down menu. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.